Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. New tonight, the numbers show just how much it's going to cost both St. Petersburg and Pinellas County to make this a reality. This is the vision for redeveloping St. Pete's historic gas plant district and building a beautiful new home for the Tampa Bay Rays. Our Chad Mills is in studio tonight with a newly released plan breaking down what it will take to make that happen. Chad. Well, Wendy, the outline that we got our hands on today says the new stadium will hold 30,000 fans, have exceptional views from three different levels, and have family-friendly amenities, both inside and out. But all that will come with a cost to taxpayers, and the outline is giving us more specifics about that cost. No matter what happens this October, Rays fans can stay excited because the team says it's here to stay. Last month, the team and Mayor Ken Welch announced a deal to keep the Rays in St. Pete, complete with a new state-of-the-art domed stadium and a redeveloped gas plant district. And I believe this agreement meets our city's collective priorities. But now we're learning more specifics about that proposal, including how much the ballpark will cost taxpayers. The Rays will pay more than half the $1.3 billion dollar tab, but a newly released outline gives more details about the rest. Under the proposal, Pinellas County would pay about $313 million using tourist development tax dollars and other funds. The city of St. Pete would pay roughly $288 million using revenue bonds. So it comes from uh, tax dollars, mostly in downtown, but additionally it also comes from sales tax dollars we get from the state. St. Pete Councilman Richie Floyd says those dollars could be prioritized for other things. Things like uh, uh, food scarcity in the city are on the rise. Things like child poverty and economic inequality in the city are on the rise. That's why he's not a fan of the plan, even telling us if he had to vote on it right now, he'd be leaning toward voting no. But right now, a vote is still a ways away, which means Floyd and his colleagues have time to ask questions and fully vet the proposal. And he smokes one up the middle of base hit. So, as the Rays are tested on the diamond right now, the deal to keep them here will be tested in upcoming meetings. We really have to do our due diligence to make sure uh, that we're not going to get the city into a bad situation. Floyd wasn't the only local leader we talked to tonight. Councilwoman Gina Driscoll, who you see right here, told me she's still studying the deal and considering the benefits the city will get in return. Councilwoman Lisette Hanowitz tells me she has so many questions right now about the deal to determine if it will be worth it for taxpayers. Finally, Councilman Copley Gertis, he tells me he is open minded but is confident with what he's seen so far, especially because the deal won't raise taxes or increase them. I'm Chad Mills in the studio.